Hey guys, oh Janelle here again, and as you can tell by the title, this is yet another product review, and I have got my hands on that good old Eco Styler Coconut. So I ordered it from houseofbeautyworld.com. I will go ahead and link their information down below. Unfortunately, they still do not have this particular product in my local beauty supply, so I did go ahead and um, shell out $10.11. Um, <laughs> For this tub of gel that costs $3.95 and as it does burn my soul, I really wanted to try it. So, just taking it out of the plastic now. Here it is, the Eco Style Coconut. For all hair types, long lasting, hold and shine, no flake, no tack, anti-itch. This is also maximum hold in a 10. It says professional styling coconut. Now let's see what else it says here. Eco Style Coconut Styling Gel is made with 100% pure coconut oil. Coconut oil helps your scalp naturally regulate its own moisturizing system. Coconut oil helps attract moisture to the scalp and holds it in. Like all of our styling gels, it is weightless and will leave your hair with a healthy shine and superior hold. So I'm super excited to try this out. I just had an ACV rinse so I can go ahead and clear out all that buildup and start with a clean slate. I have not put anything else in my hair. We're just going to be rocking with this Eco Coconut today. Um, ooh. I didn't even see this. I'm like all up in the bottle. It says, um, new coconut oil styling gel gets deep into follicles and stimulates hair growth, promotes hair health, and fights against dandruff. Adds luster, shine, and softness to hair while preventing breakage and split ends. And it also says that this contributes to hair length. So I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. It smells nice. Like, it has like a light coconutty smell. It's not very strong, but it's, you know, you can smell it, it's nice. Let's see what this feels like. It also has um, like a shine to it, like the black one did. It doesn't feel as tacky though, as the flax did. But that's good, this feels more like um, what regular or like what my pink would feel like. So I am going to go ahead and try this bad boy out. For those of you guys who know, you do know how I do my wash and goes. For all of you new folks out there that are checking out this video, I'm going to give you a really quick and brief shortcut on how I do this. And if you really want to see how I do all my other wash and goes, you can go ahead and check it out in the links below or up above in the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair into sections. easier to apply the product in smaller sections. I'm going to separate this side into two. So I'm going to start with the very back. Now I also have a spray bottle here with just some water in it to re-wet my hair in case it gets dry. The product tends to distribute much better when your hair is wet. Now the last time I took a lot, it is 10, so I'm gonna start a little lighter. And I'm gonna use like this much. I'm gonna go ahead from the root to the tip, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the gel down the length of my hair while using my thumb to kind of go ahead and like finger detangle whatever little knots I did not get while I was in the shower. I'm not a fan of combs. I only use them if I absolutely have no choice and I'm in a rush. But I do find that they can be quite damaging and nothing is more gentle on your hair than you using your hands. So here we go. I like to gel my hair till it is completely straight. This way I know that when it curls back up, it will stay and it won't get frizzy on me. So here we go, first section is completely gelled. I'm gonna go ahead and continue around my head. All right, so I'm back. I've made it around to the final section of my hair. If you guys notice, I have these duck bell clips. I always put this on the length of my hair because it kind of helps hold it down and um, elongate and stretch. So my hair is pretty much dry now. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead Take this good old spray bottle with some water, re-wet my hair, take a nice little scoop of that, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this in from the roots to the tips while using my thumbs to continue to detangle. I'm gonna pull a little more of this into the bottom. Now, I will say one thing that is kind of different and I do like it. Um, this gel is much lighter. Like, I'm not saying that the hold is any less because it says 10, but it doesn't feel as tacky as the higher level Ecos are, such as the Flax or the Argan or the Olive Oil. My hair feels lighter in a sense that I don't think it's gonna take six hours for this to air dry. I feel like maybe in like an hour or two, I'll be good to go. So now that I've went ahead and applied the gel in all of my hair, I am just gonna go ahead and pull it out. It feels moisturized, which is cool because sometimes like after I would use an eco styler, I would have to take like a little bit of coconut oil, that's what I would do, and just run it through it just to get this kind of moisturized feeling, but it's already in there like that. So that's pretty amazing. I'm digging the smell. It's reminding me of all kinds of pina coladas and I'm here for it. You can see definition of course. Shine there. No gross residue. And now what I'm going to do is let this dry for a couple of hours and I will be back. All right guys, so I'm back. My hair is completely dry. Check out the definition. It is quite everything. Um, like I said before, this is a level 10, so it does have a lot more crunch than I'm used to because I used the pink eco, which has a level seven. Overall, it's still soft. Um, I dig it, I like it. Would I buy this again? Sure. If I see it in the store, absolutely. But at the end of the day, like, that pink, that's my thing. Um, I definitely, I like how it smells. It's really light. Like, I would definitely buy it again, but I'm not going to go hunting for it. And I'm definitely not going to spend $10. <laughs> if I see it in my local beauty supply store, I will absolutely pick this up. I am a fan of this. Um, I've been seeing a lot of you guys commenting about having buildup and residue. So, um... I'm gonna do another video for you guys on Eco Coconut as well as the Flax and I'm gonna do um, like a series of a couple of days so you guys can see how it looks for the entire week and if I do end up with the residue in the end because when I used the Flax I didn't really have a lot of residue on I didn't notice any like I didn't have any flaking or anything and I've seen a lot of you guys say that the coconut oil one did give you guys flaking so as of right now I don't have any of that but um in my next video I'll figure that out and I'll let you guys know what I think about it but anyway thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in my next video You're the only one I want, something we're fighting for